Hey there, self-care warriors. Welcome back to Self-Care Haven. Today I wanted to discuss a topic that has probably run through your mind before, and that is, does the narcissist ever face karma? Now, whether or not you believe in karma, I personally think that the narcissist does face karma, but probably not in the way that we would want or anticipate. So I wanted to share um, a story that recently happened to me, and this is about a female narcissistic friend um, that I had had contact with over, over a year ago. And I had recently met up with some mutual friends, and they ended up telling me, and I had never actually discussed with them that I had any issues with her or anything like that. I had never disclosed to them that um, the way she made me feel was uncomfortable, nothing like that. I had never disclosed any of that to them. I just simply cut contact and um, I avoided interacting with her in mutual events. And what ended up happening was they had invited me somewhere where I noticed that she hadn't been invited and that was a bit odd to me because they had always invited her places. So I did ask them, hey, you know, do you guys still hang out with such and such? And they ended up telling me, well, actually, there was a bit of a kerfuffle uh, between one of the two of the people in the group and that person, um, that narcissistic friend. And I ended up finding out that she had been incredibly rude to um, some of the people that those two friends knew. And the way she was being very incredibly rude. Um, really aligned with my experience of her um, and unfortunately when I had that experience there wasn't anybody to confide in about that because a lot of people believed in her false mask um, but I could tell that there was something completely off about her and um, I basically just cut back all my investment in that friendship in that particular friendship um, only to discover a year later that I was right on point now if you haven't watched my empath video yet please do. If you think that you might be an empath, if you're intuitive about people and their energy and their emotions, um, be sure to check out that video for how to establish boundaries and how to make the best of your gifts as an empath and navigate the world in a way that still um, honors your sacred boundaries and your sacred spaces physically, emotionally, and psychologically. But I wanted to share that story with you because I think that it's a great example of how a narcissist can face karma, but not in the way that we might think of karma. To me, a narcissist faces karma when they unmask themselves to the people that probably they didn't expect to unmask themselves around. And this mask flipping is bound to happen at some point, even if you're not around to see it. And I know it's very painful to wait in the shadows and kind of wonder, well, when are they ever going to face karma? I'm going through, you know, PTSD symptoms. I'm thinking about all the abuse and they've moved on to the next source of supply. And even though my um, story was about a narcissistic friend, it can really apply to a narcissistic partner, um, narcissistic family member, narcissistic coworker. Whether you see it or not, they will get their, their due. And... Um, this is not about, you know, wishing ill upon them or anything like that. It's more just about if you're wondering whether or not a narcissist will be seen for their true selves by others, know that the right people will eventually see their true self. And the narcissist, narcissist mask is sure to slip at some point, um, whether it takes months or years. But it's not, a, it's not up to us to really determine whether or not you know, they should face karma, or again, like I said, the best revenge is success, self-care, moving forward, indifference to the narcissist, and no contact. Um, so it's not up to us to kind of invest in this, this idea of karma and, you know, instigating karma in some way, or fast-forwarding karma, or giving karma a little push. <laughs> um, and it's really up to us to focus on, you know, ourselves, and focus on doing what we do best, which is investing in ourselves and making sure that we're taken care of, 
that we're honoring our boundaries and that we're listening to our instincts about people. Because even if there's nobody else around you to verify or validate what you're experiencing, if you find that there's something about a person's energy that is off-putting, there's obviously something about that person that doesn't align with your values and instinctually you know that. Now, whether or not that person is a bad person or a good person, that's not really, um, it's not necessarily that it's they're a bad person or that they're a complete narcissist or that they're a sociopath. It just might be that there's something off about them that doesn't quite align with your values. And that's okay. You don't have to be aligned with everybody. Um, that doesn't mean that that person is a full-fledged narcissist. It just means that there's something about them that might not align with your values. Now, there are cases, of course, where that person may be, in fact, narcissistic. And you pick up on that. You pick up on their sadistic pleasure in hurting others. You pick up on... Um, perhaps their grandiosity, you pick up on this kind of arrogance about them, and that's okay. It's good to notice that kind of stuff. Even if nobody else around you sees it, rest assured that at some point one of them or a few of them will. Um, like I said in my story, um, it took over a year, and I had nothing to do with it. Like, I had never contacted this person again. I had not confided in any of my mutual friends about this person or the fact that I felt off about them. So it was really just something that unfolded naturally and organically. And I wanted to share the story because I wanted to give the people who are really struggling with this idea that, you know, nobody's going to see the narcissist's true self, like everybody believes him or her, um, some hope that in, a f in the future it's not going to be about that. We're going to move forward into our lives and we're going to be so joyful and happy and uh, successful and focused on ourselves that when it comes down to it, we won't even care whether the narcissist faces karma or not. But um, the fact of the matter is, is that they probably will in due time in terms of people seeing their false mask slip. So in terms of karma, there's no reason to try to, you know, rush karma, like I said. Don't try to push karma forth. Uh, just focus on you, do you, and focus on honoring your own boundaries, listening to your own instincts about people, and knowing that even if you feel alienated about your gut instinct about someone, it doesn't mean that you're wrong because there are people who will stifle their own gut instincts. And those people are not as in touch with their feelings and they're not as in touch with their emotions and they're not willing to listen to their own inner voice. And they're more likely to go with the group and what the group thinks. Or they're very tolerant of people and they don't under, like they don't know about narcissism so they think that that person might be insecure or that person is just projecting and they're not having fun, you know, uh, they're not having fun putting down others. You know, a lot of people think that pe narcissists are insecure and that's not true. There are many grandiose narcissists who are not insecure. They think very highly of themselves and they enjoy putting down others. It gives them that sense of su superiority. It feeds their sense of entitlement. So I hope this video helps um, to reframe this idea of karma and understand that the narcissist mask will eventually slip in time whether or not we get to see it and that we should really be focusing on ourselves and letting whatever is going to happen happen organically and naturally. We don't have to continue worrying about this idea of karma or invest in this idea of karma. I know for a lot of you this is a struggle, so I just wanted to share this story and reframe this idea of karma. I hope this helps. I hope it's been validating. Um, let me know what your idea of karma is, if any. Um, if you have an idea of karma, let me know. Or if you don't believe in karma, that's fine too. Just let me know in the comment section below. I look forward to to hearing your thoughts about this and if you did have an experience where you think that the narcissist uh, faced karma let me know that as well i'm sure a lot of other survivors will be um <laughs> will be interested in hearing your stories and i'll talk to you guys soon until then take care